to another chart nerd ta update i hope everyone had a good friday night and um has a wicked weekend so let's dive into this today i'm looking at algorand here on the daily time frame now from my previous updates you know we had this uh trend line in okay because this was basically once previous resistance okay we came back had a higher low than these lows here okay and then we broke out and met our technical target of an ascending triangle okay i'm not going to get that technical target on but it has been met okay so you had this this is sort of like a cup and handle pattern to be fair as well and once you once you came up and you broke out of resistance you had the technical target of, of which you met okay so we ran up to that technical target now okay and what's happening is we've already come back down to previous resistance okay and turn that to support but what happened at this level here which is 0 0.33 this is the area i keep telling everybody to keep their eyes on okay keep your eyes on this level because we've had an area a bounce of support off it before but we've come up and we've created a lower high than this high here okay so what this basically means is if we come back down where we are now and lose this 33 cents to me you're looking to come back and potentially retest this ascending level of daily support so what this is basically called is a throwback okay and this is only if we lose 33 cents because if we hold it if we hold 33 cents okay and get a bounce off it and, and hold this as support for a second time so you can see previous resistance met the technical target of the breakout came back down for support okay lower high but if we come back down here and hold this and start to do something like this and start to pick up and take out this local high here okay so if we can hold 33 cents and and start to come back up and take out 37 okay and do something like this where you come down find another level of support and then you start working your way up if we tackle above 37 cents for me you're looking to re-push up to this 41 okay um and we're still going to get continuation to the upside basically but what i think is potentially happening uh as I, I previously said is something called a throwback okay so if we do lose 33 cents okay and we do lose it and we've come down like this we come up and we lose this area and turn it into resistance for me i keep saying in my previous videos your next level of support is this ascending trend line on the daily time frame of support that we've been holding um since this the 27th of august so you're basically caught up in this pattern you broke out and right now if we lose 33 cents you're getting thrown back into the same pattern that we was trying to break out of before okay so that's not all that negative and what it would basically mean is that um our grand had a nice juicy pump up and all it's doing right now is retracing back down to a higher level of support okay it might seem quite bad because you've had this pump and all of this pump will potentially be out of the window okay and these gains if you didn't sell at these levels you know you think you're coming down and it, it looks a bit scary but you know when you when you break up like this you do need to come back for a higher level of support and as long as you hold a higher level of support than this low okay and if you start to bounce here and actually come back out of this pattern and break through 33 cents if it's lost okay that to me is your continuation that you're looking to continue to the upside okay so we just have to hold this higher level of ascending support okay i can't i can't emphasize it enough okay this daily level of support right here okay wherever algo feels like if it does lose 33 cents wherever it feels to go along this sort of trend line it has to hold okay it has to hold um again getting a fib on okay from this high retracing to this low because that's where we're retracing to okay you can see that if we was to start losing 33 cents which is the 0618 here okay your next target for me is hitting your head on that and then potentially running back down to the 786 so 31 cents is a rough area for me of where i'm expecting a bounce if we lose 33 if we lose 33 cents okay so i mean guys there's not much more that i can update you on within that um if we do hold 33 cents as support okay our upside targets okay would be back at the 1618 if we started to tackle this one fib at 37 cents so we did something like this come down hold support here start to march our way through if we can tackle 37 cents okay and hold this level at 33 for me you're looking at 39 um 39 cent uh retest of this local high okay that we're actually retracing from okay so if we hold this and get continuation to the upside break 37 cents i'm looking to go long to 39 equally if we don't hold it okay and we start to hit our heads under it do look for that 31 cent area and this ascending level of support um because that is potentially where uh you could see our ground get its bounce from now you could also do something like this you've got wave one a wave two you could have a wave three a wave four into resistance which meets the wave one support okay and then your wave five down okay a small wave five down and that would be an a b c okay and you've got waves within waves basically so for me guys that that that's that's the picture right now okay that, that that's that's the image that's what it looks like it wants to do lose this support 
okay lose this support okay that we're, that we're holding now that was previous resistance at 33 hit your head on that you're looking to roll okay if we hold it here and start to bounce up all we have to do to valid invalidate more downside is tackle 37 cents and you're looking at getting a push back up to uh i think it was 39 okay so that's my update for you today guys i will try and uh, get along and, and tag along with this as much as possible now you can see here on the four hour time frame okay if you look at the four hour we've got this descending level of resistance above us okay so you've got this level of resistance right here uh, of which algo is actually trying to break out of so let me get this bang on for you okay so potentially potentially okay you can see you've got this horizontal level of support right now down here okay so we're coming back down to retest that 33 but what's happening potentially is you're in some sort of descending triangle where you've got lower highs okay and, you, and you're starting to uh, adhere to a horizontal level of support so if you do lose this descending triangle on the four hour you will have a technical uh, a technical target uh from there to there okay and you can see if you was to lose that on the daily i mean this wouldn't look too healthy because you'd be retracing if this is a descending triangle if it is okay only if it is it doesn't have to be and it doesn't have to play out but if you did start to lose these lows and this ascending level of support and this is a descending triangle retracing back down here would be quite negative okay a potential to come down to 28 cents and what you're doing at that point is you are retesting these lows okay you are coming down for a retest of those lows um, but if you hold, even if we lose this ascending level of daily support, you still have lifelines. Okay, there are still lifelines. So if this line is lost, okay, this this ascending level of support, if it comes down like this, does something like this and loses this, okay, you still do have that 28 cents in the sand, which is your final leg of support. Because if you start to lose these lows here that we're holding, you can see that we've been holding them since uh, June, okay, or early July. If you start losing those, it's very negative and you are looking to basically this whole cluster right here of uh resistance and support is basically indicating you're looking at further downside okay so we need to hold 28 cents uh at, pfft, that's the last leg in the sand that 28 cents area okay but essentially if this isn't a descending triangle and you are coming back for just from some abc i am still looking to hold support on 31 cents okay so just keep your eyes out on this ascending level of trend line of support here <laughs> pardon me because that's where we're basically looking to go long okay looking to go long around this area but again if you lose this ascending support and turn it to resistance do look for a retest of around 28 cents okay and coming back down to the lows of which we we came up to okay uh again what i said that would potentially do here if we did do something like that okay where you've got you've got this bottom here you've got a low here okay if we did something like this and started to retrace here and come back down again as i mentioned as long as you hold that 28 cents you could be coming in for a triple bottom okay and that would still be bullish okay because you've got one point of contact two bottom three bottoms okay and it's called a triple bottom basically and then after that you start to retrace to these levels of resistance of which you could break out from okay so at the moment we're still in this sort of limbo pattern until we get a breakout either to the downside and lose 28 cents or if we get a break above uh 41 okay we're still ranging basically we're still ranging between a level of support and resistance right now okay so you know just let it do its thing we'll, we'll keep an update on this chart um moving forward again one last thing this 55 ema would be nice to see a close above on the daily so it'd be nice to see a price close above um what is it 36 cents okay no 33 cents sorry 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 33 cents you can see that we're basically just trying to hold on to this 55 ema Okay, and if we start closing below the 55 and hitting our heads on these EMAs as resistance, this is where you could expect further downside to come down and retest these that ascending level of support that I had on previously at around 31 cents. Okay, guys, so just keep an eye out for that. You want to see a close above the 55 and above 33 cents to get continuation. Okay, close above it, hold it, and start to break out. If we lose the 55 EMA and lose 33 cents and hit our head on it, do look to come down and retest that ascending level of support that I showed you before. Okay, guys, so that's a quick update for you today on Algorand. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. From Chartner TA, until next time, peace out.